Now, I'm absolutely delighted that I'm sure a few weeks ago you'd have seen that we had Gary Bravin on on the chat after his Southport side lost to Derby with a late penalty. I'm delighted that he's now back on and speaking from his position in his dream job as a youth coach at Everton FC. Can you hear us, Gary? Hi, Michael. You OK? I'm very good, thank you. Good evening. So, congratulations on your new role. As an Evertonian at heart, you must have been absolutely delighted to join the club. Yeah, I am. It's, um, you know, it's, it's, everyone knows I'm an Evertonian, but you know, it wasn't easy for me leaving Southport as well. You know, I, I enjoyed me, 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 you know, my second stint there as manager um, a short period, but you know, I enjoyed it. And it was a bit of a wrench to leave, but you know, I think everyone understood it was, it was a job I couldn't really turn down. Gary, it's going to seem like a fairly obvious question, but just give us a brief synopsis of, of what your role actually entails now. Um, I, th I think I got that question. Um, <laughs> but my role, it's, well, Everton, we're quite unique with the academy. We have like a rotation system now. Um, so it's, you know, I'm sure you've all heard Kevin Sheedy. I'll, you know, I work with Kevin Sheedy. And, um, you know, we won the youth, um, we won the youth league last year. And, you know, it's, we, there's, a, there's a few of us coaches and we, we sort of rotate working with all the age groups and sort of gives, um, you know, a little bit of insight into all the ages and, and also, you know, gives the players a, an insight to work and with, with different types of coaching as well. So it's it's one that I'm, I'm enjoying, and it's uh, it was something I was really interested in doing. Uh, Gary, do you um, do you miss being the main man in charge of in charge of a football club? And can you see yourself getting back into first team management at any point in the future? Um, no, I, you know, yeah, this obviously this part's a mess of you know the management side and. You know, but I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not uh, over ego. I think you've got to be, uh, you know, a little bit of egotistic to just sort of be, you know, I'm, I'm not really like that. You know, I do enjoy the management side and, you know, but it's, um, I think I've got a lot of uh, different uh, strings to be bold, if you like. And it's something that I've, I've been interested in. I've always been interested in the development of players and, you know, and I've, I've tried to, to do that. The clubs have been at and managed them. You know, and it's, it's, it gives me a chance to do this. But, you know, I'd never rule out going into management again. Um, you know, like I said, I, I have enjoyed it. Um, it's, but, you know, I think I, I'm just looking for something different at the moment. And, you know, this is ideal. You know, obviously the club that's close to me has. Obviously, it's really tight down the bottom of the conference at the moment, Gary. Um, how do you see Southwell's chances of staying up? I mean, they're playing some pretty good football under yourself, weren't they? Yeah, you know, I thought we'd play some real good stuff and, you know, I, you know, we was, uh, I enjoyed it, you know, I really enjoyed it and, you know, I think um, Paul, uh, Paul Cardin's took over now and, you know, we, we we have the same beliefs and, you know, we, um, I think it's, you know, although we've done well, we certainly want, you know, when we went in there it was, it was almost doomed, you know, they were relegated and then we sort of, you know, give everyone a lift, me and Paul both together and, you know, and then it, it goes the other way. Then all of a sudden, the people are saying, you know, get a few more wins, we could get close to the playoffs. And you know, I think that was probably unrealistic. But you know, um, I think now probably Paul going in, you know, it's 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 sort of um, you know a couple of defeats were you know straight back down there again. You know, it's 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 a, it's a tough job, but you know, one I'm confident that you know Paul and the rest of the people behind the scenes to help Paul can achieve. We had Paul on when he first came in just after they'd suffered that 4-0 defeat to Leeds Barnet, which was completely understandable given that they're imperious and at the top of the league. Since then, as you said, they've been dragged back down there. It's a very tough place to come in. As he told us in the chat, it's a job he can't turn down because it's his first go at management and he might not get another. But do you think he's got the capability and the know-how now he's not working under you, which he's done for most of his management career, to pull them through? Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, I think Paul's, you know, Paul's had a little go as well, Katie, at Cambridge, you know, and, um, you know, I think he was in charge leading up to the, uh, I forget it, I think it was a forest green, he won 8-0. And, uh, you know, Paul was in charge, or, you know, took, took training all that week and was in charge up to, the, up to that game, so... You know, he's, he has got a little bit of experience in there as well. Like I said, we've got the same and, you know, he's been a great help for me um, when, when I've been the manager. And, you know, and, and we still speak daily anyway now, you know, over stuff. And, you know, he's got his own little ideas on the team and stuff. And, you know, and, 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 you know I'm confident that he'll get it right. 
Gary, in, in terms of the conference, who do you think will be in trouble come the end of the season? And uh, who do you think could be in line for promotion? If, um, if, well, Barnett obviously look you know, favourites at the moment, but you know, I, think, I, I do genuinely believe the bottom of the conference is getting stronger. Um, there seems to be a lot more, you know, there was, there was getting less and less part-time sides in the league, whereas it seems to be going back up again now. I think there's, there's more and more part-time teams in the league, and I think the last couple of years you've had part-time sides getting in the playoffs, and you know, and I, I think that's sort of up, up, you know, up, you know, the the, um, the standard a little bit near the bottom of the league in terms of fighting this in the league. So, you know, but Barnes have done well; they've had a good season. Um, you know, and there's still a, a few clubs, uh, you know, full-time who, you know, are sort of in and around who you could make a late surge. But you know, I think at the moment you've got to say Barnes. I think. Have you had a chance to go back and see Southport at all, Gary, since you left? And do you, if you have, do you see much difference in the way that, that Paul's doing things now at all? I haven't. I haven't been back since at, at the moment. At the moment, you know, it's, uh, I want to sort of get my teeth into this, and it's, um, uh, you know, um, it's 24/7 at the moment. But you know, like I said, I spoke to Paul, and as soon as you know things sort of slow down a little bit, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to go back and you know continue to watch Southport like I, I, as I have done. Uh, as well as Everton, so you know, hopefully soon. But you know, I'd like him to get a couple of wins under his belt first as well. And you know, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm confident he can achieve that. And how did your move to Everton exactly come about? Um, it was something that was uh, before the Pontus Southport was uh, a possibility. Um, you know, and it, it, it sort of come alive again while while I was at Southport, and you know, where uh, like I said, uh, I was very interested, and it, it, it was something I, I, I couldn't I couldn't turn down. It's you know, uh, full time being full time, uh, like I said, going into Everton every day is uh, a, a great a great feeling for me, and like I said, it was you know I think uh, I'd sort of gone to Southport, um, not hiding from the ambition. You know, I went there. Everyone knows, I, you know, I wanted to be full time and uh, work as high as I could. And you know, that opportunity came probably sooner than people had hoped. But you know, like I said, I couldn't have fought to land ground. It was something I was I wanted to do, and um, you know, it was nice that I got the blessing from everyone at Southport. As a um, former manager of a semi-professional team, did you find it hard to compete against the full-time sides when you were managing Southport? Um, not, well, not really, because we, we we done okay, didn't we? You know, we played against the championship side and held them to you know till the 93rd minute, and you know we had good re, re, some good results against the uh, full time side. So I always felt, you know, I think people try and use that. You know, it is an advantage, but if, if it's used right, you know, if you use the, the full time way to your advantage, best of the players, but. You know, I remember being on the other side of the field when you're full time and the part time side sort of used as an excuse to to be the underdog. Uh, we never we that I never once spoke about budgets or the fact that we were part time. You know, and I think we uh, you know we we showed with a part time side and, and with a low budget that you know we we were we were very difficult to beat. Um, you know, and, you know we won more games than than we than we lost, and you know we had a good cup run so. You know, I think it's just about organisation and getting the best out of the group of players you've got. And the more time you've got with them, then you know, the, the more chance you've got. But like I said, you know, I think we never ever used that as an excuse. And uh, but you know, like I said, having said that, Paul's come in now, and you know, it, it is a tough job. It is a tough job, and you know, it's um, it's one that you know I'm you know I'm, I'm watching out for and uh, hopeful and confident that you know that they'll achieve success and staying in the league. Thank you very much for your time, Gary, and best of luck in your new role at Everton for the rest of the season. Cheers. Thanks very much, lads. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.